So you're thinking about living in San Diego and you're just trying to decide what community do you want to live in? Well, today we're going to talk about the coastal community of Ocean Beach, or as the locals call it, OB. And as I call it, one of the most interesting and unique places in all of San Diego. My name is Kyle Whistle, your guide to living in San Diego. I'm one of those few born and raised San Diegans who've lived here my entire 40 year life, been a realtor for 20 of those years. And I wanna share my experience with you so that you can decide if living in San Diego is going to be right for you. And if you're thinking about living in San Diego, the beach is obviously gonna be a part of the thought process. And so we're gonna do videos on all of the different communities across San Diego. But in today's video, we're focusing specifically on the community of Ocean Beach, or if you're going by zip codes, it is 92107. So I'm gonna shrink myself down. I know you're not watching this video for me. You just want some information. So let's dive into it. Here's our big map of San Diego. And if you've never tuned into our uh, videos before, we break down the different regions of San Diego. If we start up here at the north, we have uh, North County Coastal. If we come inland in a little bit, we have North County Inland. Um, then we have Coastal San Diego. We have Central San Diego and East County San Diego. And then we have South Bay San Diego and we have um, South Bay Inland San Diego. So. You'll see a little red dot on here for Ocean Beach. That is going to be considered part of coastal San Diego. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can get a good, uh, good glimpse of where we are at. And so when we're looking here at the Ocean Beach community, yes, Ocean Beach means you are on the beach, which is a beautiful thing. Um, Ocean Beach, as far as your proximity to things, if you have ever flown into San Diego, the airport is right here. You are getting from the San Diego airport to Ocean Beach and you're probably a five minute drive. Maybe if you hit a bunch of lights, 10 minute drive. Um, so the location to the airport is, is very, very close. Um, you've got things like SeaWorld that are um, literally a five minute drive away to go to SeaWorld. You got the San Diego Zoo that's probably a 10 minute, maybe 15 minute drive away. Um, you've got Coronado Island down here that's super close by. Um, you've got one of the things that's kind of cool in Ocean Beach, the Dog Beach in Ocean Beach. This is probably when people say they're going to Dog Beach, there's multiple dog beaches across San Diego, but Ocean Beach's Dog Beach is that beach that you're, uh, you're typically going to hear people talking about. Um, so just a great location, very central in San Diego, pretty much close to everything. Um, and you're on the ocean, which is pretty darn cool. Um, so I want to dive in. I want to give you a lot of information. I'll we'll give you some things that I know just having lived here my entire life, but also um, just get into some of the stats. So as you decide where you want to live here in San Diego, you make an educated decision on what's going to be best for you, your family, um, and whoever else it is that you're moving to San Diego with. So let's dive in. We'll have links. There's a ton of data. I'm going to have links to all of that stuff below. Um, and if you have additional questions, you can always reach out to our team. You can call or text anytime at the number down below. That'll connect you with my team. We can answer any questions that you have. Also, if you're thinking about moving here, we can learn a little bit more about you and put a plan in place to help you make that happen. So let's dive in. We look at a lot of data from a website called bestplaces.net. And so we'll hit on a few key points in here. Um, as far as population, Ocean Beach is, um, I would call it on the smaller side of San Diego. It's not super dense in Ocean Beach. You don't have a ton of high rises. You don't have huge hotels everywhere. Um, you don't have giant apartment buildings. For the most part in Ocean Beach, things are, um, I won't say spread out because the houses are very close together. Your lot sizes are a little bit smaller, but the majority of the homes in Ocean Beach are going to be single family homes or houses. Um, and then you're gonna have um, some apartment and condo complexes, but you don't have anything too huge here. Um, most of what you see are going to be um, smaller houses, smaller condos, smaller apartments that you're gonna run into. Uh, median income, you're looking at 66,000, which is right about on par with what you're gonna see for San Diego as a whole. Your median age, 35 and a half, which is also pretty similar. Um, don't worry about this median house price. I'm gonna get you some more accurate data on that. Um, your unemployment rate at six and a little over six uh, and a half percent, which is actually a little bit on the higher side um, compared to where the uh, overall unemployment rate is. And then next up, you have the comfort index, which is 
pretty darn important, right? Let's, let's be real. Part of the reason you move to San Diego and to coastal San Diego is you want a great climate. So uh, let me jump in. The weather here in San Diego, um, specifically in Ocean Beach, is about as good as it gets. Like this is the epitome of living in coastal San Diego. So some of the things that you'll see on here, um, the comfort index for Ocean Beach is nine and a half out of 10, which is about as high as it's gonna get. Um, the summertime, your high is typically right around 75 degrees. It is perfect. Um, there's actually a real estate company in San Diego that's called 74 or 75 and sunny because it just seems that every single day it's 75 and sunny. Now, one thing you wanna know, living in coastal San Diego, they don't tell you this, and all the brochures, but there's this thing called the marine layer. And so this tends to uh, be a little bit stronger in the summertime when the water is warmer. In the uh, late afternoon, you have what's called the marine layer that rolls in and it looks like a ton of clouds or haze that rolls in um, from the ocean. And some days it rolls in a mile onto uh, a mile offshore. Sometimes it comes two, three, four, five miles offshore. Uh, or onshore, I should say, I think I'm mixing that up. It's, it's gonna roll into the land, whatever way that is. Um, and so it tends to get a little bit hazy or foggy feeling um, in the late afternoon. And that stays through the night. You wake up in the morning, still tends to be foggy. As the sun comes up, it burns the marine layer off, pushes it back away, and you end up with a beautiful sky. Um, now, just depending on the time of the year and just the day, um, there's days where that marine layer hangs around the entire day and it never burns off. And there's days it burns off by nine or 10 in the morning, and then you get a perfect day the rest of the day. So just know there is a marine layer here in San Diego. And one thing a lot of people don't realize is June is actually the cloudiest month of the year in San Diego. So everybody tends to visit here in June and it's cloudy and they're like, what the heck? June's the cloudiest month of the year your least cloudy months are actually October and November. Um, so May, June tend to be very cloudy. October, November tend to be your least cloudy months. Those are actually the best months of the year. And for those of us that are locals, we kind of like by October, November because tourist season is over and we get our beaches back and it's, uh, it's nice and peaceful, less clouds, less marine layer. It's really pretty. So um, 75 is what you're gonna run into. That's kind of your, your average high in the summertime, your low. 49 degrees. I mean, that's about as cold as you're going to get. You're rarely ever going to see the temperature dip into the 30s in San Diego. Um, your lows in the winter, high 40s, low 50s is pretty normal. Um, so it, you'll get a tiny bit of rain. I mean, you're talking 11 inches of rain. Um, some of you guys probably got 11 inches of rain last month. We're getting 11 inches of rain in an entire year and zero snow. Doesn't snow here. Um, I've heard stories about it snowing in San Diego one time, but I've never been a part of it, um, especially not coastal San Diego. So um, I don't think you'll ever see snow here. So if you're trying to get away from the snow, you're trying to get away from the rain, um, or you're trying to get away from the heat too. So maybe you're in Arizona or Texas or Nevada where it's blazing hot. Um, you want to get away from that. You're going to love coming here. Also, if you're coming from, um, from the south, from the, the east coast, where you're getting a ton of humidity, uh, we don't get a whole lot of humidity here in San Diego. We get those nice coastal breezes. You rarely are going to have much humidity in San Diego. So not only are the temperatures very moderate, but the uh, the humidity is going to be great as well for you. Um, one of the things I like to look at is what's referred to as a walk score. This just um, relates to the proximity of different amenities within a particular community. Um, and the walk score of 70 um, in Ocean Beach, which is definitely on the high side. It's actually one of the highest in the area. Um, and a big reason for that, you'll see on here that you've got 133 restaurants, bars, and coffee shops in Ocean Beach. That's a lot. So um, if that's something that you're into, you want easy access to all of these amenities. There's tons of them. Um, Newport Avenue, which is the main drag in Ocean Beach. There's shops and restaurants and bars and coffee and all of that literally everywhere and there's always new stuff coming in um, one of my favorites um, i love breakfast republic they're actually have expanded all over san diego they started out in north park and they've blown up ever since they've got the best of breakfast um, in town and there's just tons of other uh, great stuff wonderland is a, a really cool restaurant if you want something with the ocean view wonderland is great there's the Ocean Beach Pier. There's a little restaurant out on the pier. You grab a bite to eat. Probably not the best bite to eat, but you can get a bite to eat while you're out on the pier. And that, that's one of the longest piers um, in San Diego as well. So 
you got that going on. Let's dive into the cost of living, right? What's it gonna cost you if you wanna live in Ocean Beach? Well, it's not cheap. Sorry to burst your bubble. We thought you were gonna live in coastal San Diego and it was gonna be cheap. That's not how it's gonna go down. Um, so overall, um, they basically put a, a hundred average is um, what you have across the United States. California as a whole, you're at about a 150. But if you wanna be in Ocean Beach, you're at a 200 score. Um, so it's about twice as expensive to live in Ocean Beach as it is um, the average for the United States. And when we look at some of the reasons for that, the biggest reasons you're gonna run into, it's, it's gonna be housing, right? 414, like that's a massive, massive number. So everything else, you know, a little bit on the high side, but housing is really, that's the big one of, of why it's so expensive to live in 92107. So I wanna show you a couple things. This is some data um, from our friends over at Redfin. You'll see the uh, the median sale price of homes in Ocean Beach, north of a million dollars, just under $1.2 million. Um, so this is not a cheap place, right? This is uh, an area where you've gotta have a higher paying job or maybe you have dual income. Um, maybe you're selling you know, a smaller house or condo and moving up, um, but it's gonna get pricey. Um, your single family homes are gonna start probably around seven or 800 for a small little bungalow. Um, and then you've got homes on Sunset Cliffs with just insane, amazing views where you're gonna be talking multi-million dollar homes because you're walking across the street and you're going surfing or you're watching the dolphins. It's beautiful. Sunset Cliffs is an amazing place to live. And Sunset Cliffs is down on this Southern part of, um, of Ocean Beach here. And that tends to be the quietest part of it where you don't have a lot of traffic once you get down to Sunset Cliffs, which it takes a little work to get down there. You gotta drive through everything to get to it. But once you get down into Sunset Cliffs, the views are amazing, it tends to be a little quieter. Um, one other thing to point out, just while I have this map up too, this is San Diego Airport. This is where the planes fly. So the planes fly directly over um, Point Loma, which is to the east and over Ocean Beach. So you're gonna get some airplane noise pretty much anywhere you live in Ocean Beach. Um, but if you're directly in the flight path, I actually owned a home here. Uh, first place I ever owned was in Ocean Beach. And um, there's, they call it the Point Loma pause. So this whole point right here is called Point Loma. Um, the coastal side is Ocean Beach. And then the other side is um, referred to as Point Loma, the community. Um, but they call it the Point Loma pause. So you're on the phone, you're talking to your buddy, you're having a work call and the plane flies over and you just pause. You just gotta take a second and wait for the plane to, to fly by. So do keep that in mind. Um, honestly, I think if it wasn't for that, that values would actually be a lot higher here, but uh, plane noise, and this is our international airport. You're having 767s flying over. So it does tend to get a little bit noisy there. Um, let's dive in. So that's what it's gonna cost you if you wanna buy something in the area. If you wanna rent something, um, our friends over at Zumper, they put a little report together. Um, median price for a two bedroom apartment in Ocean Beach here, over $3,500 a month. If we switch that down to a one bedroom, you're looking at about $2,100 a month. So this might come as a shock if you've never looked in San Diego before, but it is not cheap to rent here and rent is going up and expect it to continue to go up. So um, it is not cheap at all, which is why a lot of people buy here, because when you start to factor in, you know, that's a two bedroom apartment, you're getting into a house, you know, you're going to be $4,000 and up if you want to get a single family house. So a lot of people, when they look to move to San Diego, I say, this is crazy. Why am I going to spend four, five, six grand a month to rent a house? I might as well buy one because you're, you're paying just over a million bucks and now you get to own it. So if that's something you're interested in exploring again, our team would love the opportunity to help you. Um, we'll keep it moving. Let's hit a few more stats before we wrap up today. Um, so let's dive into some crime. That's obviously something you want to take into consideration when you're buying. So the uh, violent crime rate across the United States, 22.7 um, in Ocean Beach at 30.8. So a little bit higher um, than what you're going to find in other parts of the United States or even other parts of San Diego. Um, and then property crime, 35.4 is the U.S. average and you're at 40.1. Um, one thing to know with Ocean Beach, there is a higher um, than normal transient population in Ocean Beach. Um, I mean, heck, if I, uh, if I didn't have a house and I had to pick a place that I wanted to live, I'd probably want to live by the beach too. Um, but you got to understand that that is much higher than normal in Ocean Beach outside of um, a part of downtown called East Village. Ocean Beach is probably going to be number two if I had to guess. 
um, when it comes to the transient population. So you're gonna have to understand that you gotta be okay with that. Um, I've never had any problems personally. Um, a lot of times there, people are great, um, but just understand that is part of it. And I think that probably has something to do with why you're gonna see the crime be a little bit higher here than you are gonna see in other parts of um, San Diego. Um, next up I wanna hit on is just the education. Um, this is, is some really good information here to find out, um, you know, across the uh, California average graduation rate is 82. You're at 96 in Ocean Beach, so you have a much higher graduation rate than normal. 32.6% um, have a four-year degree in California, 56% in Ocean Beach. Um, so same thing, you get down to masters, everything. So the, they tend to have a much higher education level in Ocean Beach than you're gonna have in other parts of San Diego or other parts of California as a whole. Um, and school-wise, there's some amazing private schools here, but I just wanna hit on the public schools. Um, these are the public schools that are available in Ocean Beach. So you got Ocean Beach Elementary. These are all as of greatschools.org. Ocean Beach Elementary at 10, Silvergate at 10, Sunset View at 10, um, Correa 6. So these are what you have that are directly in Ocean Beach. And then just to the east of it, you have um, Point Loma. And so these are all the different schools in Point Loma. A lot of kids go to the the local elementary schools in Point Lo or in um, Ocean Beach and then slide over to Point Loma and go to the various different um, middle schools in the uh, Point Loma area. High Tech High being kind of the, the go-to school. That's a charter school that you have um, in Point Loma area. Uh, most of the kids end up going to Point Loma High School. And so we'll have links to all of this stuff down below. So if you want to dive into like the specific reading, see the reviews, all of that stuff, um, we'll make sure to make all of that available to you. With that said, I hope you got some value out of the video today, give you a little glimpse into what Ocean Beach is all about. So you can decide if living in Ocean Beach here in San Diego is going to be right for you. If you enjoyed the video today, hit the thumbs up button, let YouTube know. If you got some questions, throw them in the comment section. And if you want more of our content, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and YouTube will take care of the rest. And if you're thinking about making a move and you wanna live here in San Diego, give us a call, shoot us a text at the number down below. That'll connect you with my team. We can learn a little bit more about you, your goals, and put a plan in place to help you accomplish those goals. My name is Kyle Whistle with Whistle Realty Group your guide to living in San Diego. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.